Let's practice what we've learned in module three. Number one is an exponential equation because your variable is in the exponent. And what we did previously, we rewrote the basis to be the same on both sides. But we can't write a two and a three. We can't rewrite those with the same base. It's not like having a two and a four. So what you do is you take the ln of both sides And now, my, this x is up in the exponent, but because I have logarithms, I can bring that x plus 1 down and multiply it times the ln of 2. And on the right, I have just ln of 3. Now, ln of 2 is just a number. Let's distribute the ln of 2 and get rid of my parentheses. That would be x ln 2 plus ln 2 times 1, which is ln 2, equals ln of 3. Okay, what am I trying to solve for? I'm trying to solve for x. Let's isolate this term on one side by subtracting ln of 2 from both sides. We want to solve for x, so divide both sides by ln of 2. That gives me x equal ln 3 minus ln 2 divided by ln of 2. And I use my calculator and x is about 0 0.5850. All right, example two. My, it's exponential equation again. The variable is in the exponent. I cannot, well, first thing I need to do is isolate that factor that's got the variable in the exponent. Cannot rewrite both sides with the same base. So I take the ln of both sides. This method always works, even if you can rewrite the basis to be the same on both sides. Now this is understood to be an E. When these match, the left-hand side will simplify to simply x minus 5 equals ln of 17 divided by 25. Now add 5 to both sides, that's ln of 17 divided by 25 plus 5. Once again, I used my calculator and I got I rounded to four places and x is about 4.6143. Okay, now we have a logarithmic equation. Ask yourself, does every term involve a log or ln? No, you've got a 2 on the right side, right side that's just a 2. So what you do is you get all your LNs on the same side, and they are in this case. And now what you do is you rewrite the left-hand side as one single logarithm. And you've got subtraction, so that's going to be a quotient. x minus 4 divided by x minus 5 equals 2. And now what you do is rewrite that in exponential form. There's an e here. That's going to be e squared equals x minus 4, x minus 5. We've talked about that property. Now let's multiply both sides by x minus 5. So that's e squared, x minus 5 equals x minus 4. Let's clear our parentheses on the left. That's e squared x minus 5e squared equal x minus 4. What are we solving for? We're trying to solve for x. And I've got x on both sides of the equal mark. Let's get the terms involving an x on the same side. That's e squared x. Subtract the x minus x. And then let's add this 5e squared.